Listen, Uzziah became very powerful, Amen. but he became very prideful. Yeah. Right. Right. Prideful. Yeah, yeah. His pride got in the way. Yeah. It was his pride that led to his downfall because pride made him think that he could do whatever he wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. After all, yeah. I'm Uzziah. I can do whatever I want to do, however I want to do it, because of who I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pride. 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 Pride is a terrible thing Amen. because most people have it and don't know it. Amen. Amen. But others experience the effects of it. Yeah. Amen. 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 Pride got in his way and allowed him to overstep his boundaries. Yeah. Pride will cause you to go in a lane that you're not supposed to be in. Yeah. Pride will cause you to do things you're not supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Feel ways you're not supposed to feel. Uh -huh. And do things that you shouldn't do. Yeah. Yeah. Pride. Pride. Pride calls him to enter the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uzzah knew that wasn't what he was supposed to do, but I hmm. was Uzzah. Yeah. I'll do. Well, you know a lot of folks are like that. Yeah. 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 I'm just thinking it's other like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole lot of folks that have pride and feel like they can do whatever they want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 They don't have to walk in order or in their lane. They can just do whatever they want to do, oh, yeah. however they want to, and whenever they want to. You know, church folks like that. Amen. Yeah. Church folks, church folks, yeah. that works. <laughs> Help me hold the door. <laughs> Stay in my lane. <laughs> because not only is the church folk, but the pastor, he's a church folk too, you know, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that's the problem with pride. See, sometimes people prop us up and people build us up and we begin to think we're more than we are. Right. Yeah. You know, a whole lot of people, people oh man, you preached a good message. Are oh, you sung that song? Man, you're doing a great work. And after a while, you begin to feel like it's all you. Yeah. And when you're used to thank God, yeah. now you say thank you. Or you might say like JJ, I know. <laughs> Pride is a dangerous thing. Yeah. Pride will hurt you. Us I will show you that it's a dangerous thing to let pride get in the way of your understanding and what you know to be true. He entered the temple of the Lord, burned incense, and that role was reserved for the priests and the priests alone. And Uzziah knew that he wasn't supposed to do that, but he thought he could do it anyway because I'm Uzziah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. I built this nation. Yeah. Yeah. You know that's the problem with church? People feel like they can do what they want to do because my great granddaddy built this church. Yeah. <laughs> my daddy was the pastor of this church for 50 years. We're on the cornerstone of this church. They were one cornerstone, Jesus Christ. He is the chief cornerstone. It, it, he's the only one that said, upon this rock, I build my church. Amen. But we get beside ourselves. Oh, oh, I've invested so much money in this church. I've seen that people invest so much they feel like they have a uh, uh, stocking. Yeah. Like a business. They got so much stock. How much stock do you want? <laughs> God owns all the stock in the church. Yeah. He bought it all. He owned it all. He paid the price for all the stock in the church. You don't have no stock. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Us are. And you know something? <clears throat> Pride will take you down that road a long yeah. way. Oh, yeah. Because even when the priest tried to come to him and say, man, you know you're not supposed to be like, what? <laughs> Y'all telling me what to do? <laughs> and while he was raging at the priest, God stepped in. All right. 
And because he trusted in God, what I'm trying to tell you, that no matter what we're facing, the transitions we're facing, we should never fail to trust God. Psalms 46, 1 and 2 says, God is our refuge and our strength. Yes. He's an ever-present help. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Present means he's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ever-present means that he's always there.
Yes. Verse 16 of 2 Chronicles chapter 26, it says, But when he had become powerful, yes. uh, when he had become powerful, yes. he also became proud. Yes. Which led to his downfall. Amen. He sinned against the Lord his God yes. by entering the sanctuary of the Lord's temple and burning incense on the altar. As the right of the high priest went in after him with 80 other priests of the Lord, all brave men. You know, they can be brave to face the king. Amen. They confronted King Uzziah and said, It is not for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord. That is the work of the priest alone. Yes. The descendants of Aaron who are set apart for this work. Get out of the sanctuary. They were great. Because you know he had the power to have all of them executed. Amen. But they said, get out of the sanctuary. For you have seen it. The Lord God will not honor you for this. See what I'm trying to tell you? The things you think you're doing that you're out of order. Yeah. God ain't honoring you with that. Amen. You got to do what the Lord has ordained for you to do. Amen. 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 Be along with that. And I'm afraid of a lot of things that we're doing, like even me, I'm sure that when I get to heaven, I think I'm going to have a Rolls Royce. I might have a Mopey and I don't know. <laughs> when I'm <laughs> now I'm going to be upset if y'all are riding in a Rolls Royce. I'm just kidding. But the thing is, see, God judges the motives. Yeah. Man judges the action. Yeah. God looks at the heart. Man looks at the hand. Yeah. God looks at the inside. Man looks at the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uzziah, listen to what he said. But the Lord will not honor you for doing this. But you're offering this up to God. Yeah, but that's not your place to do. Mm -hmm. Uzziah, who was holding an incense burner, became furious. Oh, he got mad. Yeah. How dare you tell me what I can, what I can and cannot do? Amen. Can't tell me nothing. <laughs> How dare you tell me? And you know what we do, and I'm going to get back on the point here. And what we'll do is if somebody coming up with something and they're just as right as they can be, and we'll throw something out there just to count it, to deflect. We'll bring up something that you want to say, something they done 75 years ago. <laughs> but you, you know, but that don't change the fact. And see, if you're wise, you'll listen. Amen. And if you're not filled with pride, you'll listen. Amen. But if you're filled with pride, you'll do like we do most of the time. Get mad. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what he did. He got mad. Bible says he became furious. That's verse 19. But he, as he was standing raging, I wonder what he cussed. <laughs> Just have <having> a <laughs> I don't know what he was saying, but the Bible said he was raging because he was furious. What do y'all normally do when y'all are furious and raging?
because they knew what would happen. God would judge him harshly for that. See, if you care, you will kill him from right. Amen. 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 But in the right spirit. Right. See, if you confront without criticism, you can probably claim victory in the storm of rough horses. But we have too much in us. We have too many uh, logs in our eye to get a uh, spin out of somebody else's eye. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We don't want to Amen. clean us up. We want to clean somebody else up. Amen. You know, I was looking at our cues when I was dating. It was running real clear. And I was saying, this thing is so bad. And I said, maybe my eyes are getting worse. I'm just having a hard time seeing. I took my glasses off. I clean them glasses. Everything clear. <laughs> See, some of my glasses got very glasses. <laughs> Amen. So everything worked well. But look at what he said. Leprosy son of broke out of the forest, verse 21, as Arias, the high priest, and all the other priests saw the leprosy, they rushed him out, and the king himself was eager to get out because the Lord had struck him. Oh yeah, you better than this and that. He didn't have to go that far. So King Uzziah had leprosy until the day he died. Amen. What an ending for a great king. Amen. He called the pride. He lived in isolation in a separate house when he was excluded from the temple of the Lord. The very place he tried to go and burn incense, he could no longer go. Amen. His son Jotham was put in charge of the royal palace and he governed the people of the land. See, that was bizarre because we as human beings, we got to recognize the fact that we are frail. Amen. Amen. We're not invincible. We're not all that. If not but for the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Pride will cause you to think you're all that. We all have weaknesses. Yes. Amen. We all have weaknesses. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 We all need to rely on God. Uh -huh. We need to trust in Him. Yes. We realize that by His grace, we need to give it to Him and know that it is Him. Yeah. Instead of thinking you all that by yourself, because that's going to lead you down the road to destruction. Yeah. Proverbs 16 and 18, pride goes before destruction. As I said earlier, Holy Spirit before fall. Yep. Amen. 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 I always tell you, come down off your high horse. Mm -hmm. Ain't none of us all that. Amen. See, if a person thinks they're all that, I'm not envious or jealous. I feel sorry for them. Amen. Amen. Because I know they're not. Amen. I know that. And I know I'm not. And people say, my, my son will ask me, why are you so giving like you are and forgiving? I say, because I've been forgiven much. Amen. And I'm always being forgiven. So I am forgiven because I appreciate forgiveness. Amen. 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 I know it's only God. There's nothing I could do to be who I am. Amen. Because anything could have cut me down. I remember um, a cousin I had, her name was, um, um, what was Annie Doris' daughter's name? Annie. Annie Doris' daughter, she was uh, up in front of What kind? Kind of name. I mean, I went through school smart as a whip, ready to do her thing, and all of a sudden her life cut down. There was nothing she could do to prevent that. Amen. Amen. And the only reason we're here today is because of the grace of God. Amen. 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 It's not because of all the right decisions you've made. Because if the truth be told, and I'm going to get back on point, but I want you to hear this. Because if the truth be told, you haven't made all right decisions. Amen. 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 And the truth to that is this. Even in some of the right decisions, sometimes the right decisions went wrong. Amen. Am I free? Amen. 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 So we all, we need to recognize our own weakness and trust in God's strength. Amen. That's what Paul said. That's why I'm okay with my weaknesses because I know God gives me, I mean, his strength. When I recognize my weakness and I rest in his strength, then God is not weak in any area. He is Amen. all strength. And 
Now I'm strong. Right? Oh, so you yeah. can trust me. Point number three, a clear revelation of God's holiness we find in this text. A clear revelation of God's holiness. Isaiah was at a point of despair. He was very down because he saw the condition of Judah. Yes. He saw what happened. He knew that Uzziah had died and it was already bad because of what happened with Uzziah. So what's going to happen now? And he was down. He was worried about that. But listen, God showed him something. He showed him who he was. And see, Amen. you need to understand that. So what Uzziah's death did for uh, Judah and Isaiah was give him a clear revelation of God's holiness and sovereignty. Amen. Amen. That's when he said he looked and God rolled back the scroll and he saw the, he said, I was in the uh, a temple on the Lord's day and the year the king of God died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. I was yeah. down, but I looked up and I saw the Lord high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. Mm -hmm. That train called not just the temple. See, that's symbolic of God being home ruling and super ruling, not only in Judah, not only in the temple, but in the whole world. Look at the name hey. and say, well, I Receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, 
Let us be thankful. Let us be thankful. Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful yes. and so worship God yes. acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is yes, a consuming fire. Yes. Our brothers and sisters, since we yes. are receiving a kingdom yes. that can not, will not, won't be shaken, uh -huh. let us be thankful yes. and let us worship God acceptably uh -huh. with yes. reverence and awe. Yeah. Because our God is a consuming fire. Yes. Yeah. When Isaiah saw him as he was, uh -huh. then he saw himself as he truly was. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. If you see God as he is, yeah. you can see yourself as you are. Yeah. And when Isaiah saw himself in relation to his vision of God, yeah. see that's the problem. We don't see ourselves in relation to the vision of God. No, because we see ourselves in relation to the vision of other people. But when you see yourself, yes, 